This is Nina Curley from Wamda Media. I'm here chatting with Andre Haddad, the CEO of Relay Rides, which is a car sharing marketplace. Um, Andre has worked in e-commerce for over 15 years in both Silicon Valley and Paris with a long stint at eBay. So we're going to hear some of his tips about e-commerce today. Andre, how are you? Good. I'm glad to be here. In the beginning of your career, you started out working at Booz Allen and Hamilton. Do you think that consultants make good entrepreneurs? I'd say it's hard to generalize, uh, but I would tend to say no. Uh, the qualities required for an entrepreneur are quite different from the qualities required from a consultant. Uh, in fact, uh, when consultants thrive, uh, they work on behalf of clients, uh, they present recommendations, they don't necessarily execute the projects. Whereas entrepreneurs are quite different. You know, they live and breathe their projects from A to Z, they get stuff done, and they learn while implementing. And uh, there's a fundamental difference between the two. So if you're a consultant and you're not feeling great about uh, not having the opportunity to execute your ideas, you may well be an excellent entrepreneur wanting to get your hand on an idea and getting it out the door. Well, clearly you made a successful transition. Uh, you founded iBazaar in August 1999, um, online uh, retail portal, and sold it to eBay less than two years later in February 2001. Um, what were the most important elements of iBazaar that you think convinced eBay to acquire you? Well, the most important element, I would say, was the leadership position that we had in the, at that time, emerging e-commerce marketplace space. Uh, we had launched in August 1999, and over the next year and a half, uh, we became the number one e-commerce marketplace in uh, eight European countries. At that time, eBay was primarily focused on the U.S. market and was interested in expanding geographically. So we were really a perfect fit. The leader in uh, many parts of Europe, acquired by the leader in the U.S., the two together can form you know, a very powerful entity with a lot of synergies uh, and a lot of uh, great customer benefits. What are the most important aspects of creating a good e-commerce business? The most important things that you'd focus on is really building a great product experience. Uh, we very, were very focused on delivering great technology and a great product experience for our customers. We were not in traditional e-commerce, so we were not actually responsible for you know, uh, acquiring the merchandise and uh, building the inventory management systems. And we were really building a marketplace that connects people. And in a marketplace business, which is slightly different from an e-commerce, traditional e-commerce business where you're actually doing retail commerce, in a marketplace business, the most important factor is to build a very liquid marketplace where there's a majority of owners or sellers in the case of eBay, in the case of iBazaar, and majority of buyers are going to that same marketplace, and it's a vibrant marketplace. You know, you, uh, even if you were walking down the streets of Beirut, you don't want to go to a market or to a store where there's no one in the store. Uh, that doesn't seem like a good place to go. <laughs> so we, the number one goal when you're building a marketplace is to have a lot of people uh, using it, both on the supply side and on the demand side. And the first thing to do in order to get people to sign up and to start selling and start buying is to build a really great product experience. At the time, were you inspired by eBay's interface or were you able to innovate and improve upon their interface? We, we were inspired by eBay's model, but frankly, we were not terribly inspired by their inter interface. We felt that the uh, product that eBay had built was very complicated. Uh, it was uh, not something that was intuitive for either sellers or buyers to use. The uh, eBay had only offered auctions as a format for trading. Uh, we didn't believe that auctions w was the only relevant format to offer on a marketplace in Europe. So definitely we're inspired by the model uh, and the idea that eBay made popular in the U.S. at the time. But when we decided to work on our own product, uh, we decided to make the whole product experience, in particular the user interface, a lot easier, a lot more intuitive, a lot simpler, fewer functionality, fewer features, uh, much more intuitive uh, interface, uh, less clutter in the interface. And we also did something that eBay didn't do until several years later, which is to create uh, both an auction 
as well as a fixed price format to enable people to trade. Once you joined eBay after the acquisition, um, you later launched Shopping.com. What were two or three of the most important things you learned um, while running that site? Shopping.com is also a marketplace, but the sellers are not average consumer sellers. They are you know, what we call the top 500 internet retailers in the U.S. So it's uh, companies like Amazon, Walmart, Pottery Barn, Gap, you know. And Shopping.com is a marketplace that uh, is not a transactional marketplace. It's, it's a lead generation marketplace. So people go to Shopping.com and then they compare prices, they look at all of the available options, and then if they're interested in a product, let's say sold by, you know, Gap, they will click on that listing and we'll, you know, refer them to Gap's website. So it's much more of an ad model. So it was a really interesting experience for me because some of those learnings coming from a transactional model applied as well to a, uh, an ad model or lead gen model, but some of them didn't. And uh, uh, one of the challenges that we had was how to continue to innovate and uh, reinvigorate this business, which was uh, 10 years old, uh, knowing that there are some limitations in the transactional model and also some limitations in the ad model. And we built an ad network that was commerce-based, and it's now called the eBay Commerce Network. Uh, so we, we are now, that, that business is now eBay's advertising and uh, ad commerce arm. Uh, and uh, it's a, you know, op- uh, offers new opportunities for eBay to expand beyond its core marketplace model. What were the most important elements about making the ad-driven model successful on a sort of um, retailer marketplace like that? The innovation that we were able to focus on is in the actual advertising format itself. Uh, Make it much more of a product listing-like ad and make it very targeted to the people who are looking for uh, buying stuff in, in, that are similar to this product. And when you offer a, uh, a really uh, relevant ad uh, with a format that really provides the right information to the potential buyer, you get really strong click-through rates and high conversion rates. And as a result, we had really very strong ROI uh, that we could demonstrate to all of the retailers, and that enabled us to attract uh, almost all of the top 500 internet retailers in the country as customers on the Shopping.com network. Uh, you're now working at Relay Rides, which, as I mentioned, is a car-sharing marketplace. Mm-hmm. Um, tell us a bit about that. Do you think that a sharing economy is the future? The sharing economy, I think, has a very bright future ahead of, ahead of us. Uh, in the United States alone, there are, um, I think, 250 million cars, a billion count. There's a billion cars around the world, and that number is increasing by 25 million every year. And the majority of those cars are staying idle. Uh, they're not being used all the time. Yet, uh, they are an asset that is a terrible asset to own. You know, they depreciate really quickly in value. If you buy a new car, over the first five years of its life, it loses between two-thirds and 75% of its value. Reader enables car owners to list their car on readerrights.com and rent it when they're not really using it. Our owners are making you know, up to $1,000 a month simply renting their car on readerrights, which uh, more than compensates for the cost of car ownership. It's fun to help reshape the way think, people think about mobility. So just to come back to the region, you grew up in Lebanon and... Um do you think you'll ever come back to mentor entrepreneurs or, or tap into opportunities in the market here that interest you? I would love to. You know, I've come to a stage in my career now where I, I feel a stronger urge and a stronger need to stay connected and uh, also to just give back to the country and the region that made me who I am. Andre, pleasure chatting with you. Thanks for sharing all of your advice.